Hello folks and welcome back to Survival Challenge on New Sand. Here we are with the planting of the wheat as we was finishing off in the last episode. And as you can tell by the title of the video, we are going to be prepping to have the great vineyard in at some point. As we are just oh, missing a little bit there, I think we hit a wall or something or hit the edge of the map. As we with comes to planting this area here, it's like the closer you get to it, the periphery of the map. And that's where you start to have issues and that. But so yeah, we've got plans today for do a bit of forestry work and that. To clear a huge area for what would be our plantation for a vineyard. And the plan I'm gonna do with that area is gonna be also include know, as we go over we're just pushing this along. We're just going to include the factories, but we'll do that in another episode. I think all we need to do in this episode is just prep the area. Also, what we need to do as well on site is start taking care of our fields, getting our fields fertilized, getting it maybe mulch if we want to go down that route. I doubt we will. Yeah, I think for this harvest cycle, we'll skip it, I think, in all fairness. But yeah, we've got lots of honey as well about, so what I'm going to do is start work on this. So yeah, let's go to what we're doing. So we need to buy plot 33 and plot 32. So if we go over here, we've got everything set up. So we've got the devourer with the trader. We've got a logging trader. We've got our tree harvester. And also I've got at least this, the Volvo L200 high lift. Because, yeah, my plan is, all these trees here, on these two plots of land, we're going to cut down and remove. So, yeah, that's going to be a huge forestry work, and there is a wider part to this forest, and actually, I may just buy these plots anyways, so that we can clear those trees as well. But yeah, basically my plan is to have a huge finger of vines going from here and up. So, do we buy 23? We could do, right? We've got the money for it. But then again, also it's like the tree work as well. So, okay, why not? So yeah, we've got some huge areas to clear, so... That we'll do in a few moments. Because, yeah, simple plan is with the tree harvester, get the trees cut down and get it all piled up. And, yeah, we'll sell trees, get a decent profit for them. I don't think it's the best time to sell wood at the moment. Or it's getting towards me. I think it's on the uptrend, so. Actually, in fairness, it's actually 18. 1850 at sawmill. Can't really get that, so farm shops are everything. So actually in fairness, it's pretty consistent all year round the wood chips. Unlike let's say the size and all that. But yeah, we will do wood chips on like some of the smaller trees maybe. I think that will come to it in a bit, so but yeah, also we need to do is start liming our fields. So if we go over here, look at what needs liming. So that half of the field, well, that two thirds of the field needs lime in. And so there's this section over here. So we need to take care of this firstly. And I think what we can do is get a worker on it. Because also what we need to do is pick up the straw from these fields over here that were our wheat fields. And yeah, look at that fertilizing. We can also do a fertilizer in these fields as well. I think actually the best way to go about it is if we start from the top down, then when we get the work on it, it shouldn't have too much issues. We may have an issue over there ahead of us against that corner with the tree and the equipment, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there on that part. But yeah, we completely forgot to light when we obviously firstly got the sunflowers in the ground. Anyways, we're rectifying it now, so worker's gonna be on its way. 
probably going to run out, so... Oh, worker, you haven't come to your task. You've barely done anything. Uh, worker, do something. Well, this ain't a huge priority at the moment. We can wait on this later on. Uh, she turns the times down to times two. So yeah, we need the sprayer and that, so where is that to locate that on the map? Somewhere. Ah, it's over there, so let's go and get that hooked up. Because yeah, we also need to do some fertilizing on the fields as well, so yeah. Bear me a sec, whilst I get it all hooked up. There we go, with everything all filled up now, so yeah, we need to fertilize these fields. I'm not so fuss on the bees, I'll get resolved when we do a cultivation or seeding, whatever we're going to do. Because yeah, there is a few options we can do. Whilst you're doing wheat in a small field, that's just purely for the animals. But then, yeah, I'm not going to do anything else this year. Got plenty of cotton for the time being. We may do one small field for cotton and that to keep up the close production, but I doubt that. Maybe do like sugar cane or something. Yeah, something different we haven't done before. Something I haven't done for a while, if not at all, in FS22 sugar cane. Yeah, because I think if we do sugar cane, uh, what else we could do? Soybeans and that, maybe? Definitely corn. And maybe some oats as well. But if you want to go down more crops and that, we can always split these mega fields up into smaller pieces, so it's not a huge issue for us. So, yeah, we got a lot of spraying to do, so we won't get this field sprayed. We want to spray the other mega fields. Also, we've got straw to pick up in that as well from the wheat field. So, yeah, that is going to be a lot of work for us. So, I think the best way to get it done is a quick time lapse. So, yeah. All gets done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once I'm done here.
that took a lot longer than I uh, initially planned on, so I think to recap, because it has been a while since we've last seen each other, the wheat field has been planted, I picked up all the straw, that was 440,000 litres. Also, as I was going around, I noticed we forgot some grass. I, well, I forgot to pick up some grass. And that turned out was 640,000 litres of grass I forgot to pick up, so... Go and pick that up. Most of it's gone to here, or to the grass dryer by the sawmill, and... Long story short, it's all getting converted into grass. So if we have a look here... We have used a lot of our silage. And that's because our silage is set to distribution, so some of it will go to the BGA, but also some of it will go into, uh, where is it, to the methane production. So if you have a look here, we are set to sell our methane at the moment, so our manure, our silage is getting sent over. Looking good, so. But yeah, and also with that, let's go back onto here. Got not much straw left because we've been producing everything. I'll just put a temporary pause and stuff. I'm just going to convert the rest of this grass into hay. And that's going to take about a month or so to process all of it. And then we'll convert that into said TMR. However, go down here. We've got 5 million litres of TMR or so. I've just fed our cows as I forgot to feed them overnight. Whoopsie. So yeah, as and when we need, we can just give our cows TMRs. So yeah, that's why we've got a bunch of TMR here. Cows are just being topped up. But with this, because since we've got two of these, I'm thinking we can just leave this over there. And try to think, how much do the cows consume? I think it's about a full load a month, so about 75,000 litres a month, give or take. I think it's less than that. It's hard to say because I've been focused on by spring now, when it comes to the cows, and they consume like 150,000 litres a month. Right, there are hungry cows, but these cows are not pigs, they're cows. They enjoy their delicious food. So yeah, I fed them this morning. And top up now. So yeah, 14,000 litres, so. If, let's say if it's about two hours. 7,000 litres an hour, that is. Well, okay, 150,000 litres, so these cows are hungry. Forget about what I said. Ah, oh, yeah, also, whilst we're over here at the store, let's re remember. We're gonna sell this. No, we're gonna need it. There we go, bit of money back. Because yeah, if we have a look, still got the sprayer on lease. I may keep that for the time being. Also yeah, we've got the mowers and the grass is ready to mow. We'll mow that later on, or to get the workers going on that later on. But yeah, I'm thinking come the new year that's so when we need to do spray it again. I was gonna go with this, the Hardy Rubicon 9000. AKA the moustache, 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 uh, moustache <laughs> sprayer. So 48.5 meters at 9,000 liters, compared to a measly 36.6 meters and a 4,700 year capacity. So yeah, we'll go with that later on, but yeah, I don't need to worry about it for now. But now, on to the task at hand, we need to sort out these trees. And that's because, obviously we're clearing this area for, uh, was it the Great Vineyard? We also need lumber for the sawmill, the big one that produces the plank, so... Luckily we're doing this now. So, yeah, that's actually all perfectly timed. And let's say set a cut length to how big are these tall trees over here? These are so yeah, eight meters I think would do just fine. So yeah, we'll get lined up. 
There we go. Lift. Let that fall. Crash into another tree. Back it up. Yeah, I think we'll make a clearing space here. <coughs> I think I'll, I'll leave those, those two trees over there. They just... I know it looks weird, but... I think, in a way, it looks... It looks wrong, but it looks also right at the same time. Also, it's going to be fun using that high there, because I don't think I've used that. Like, I'm trying to think when I did Silver Run Forest last year, or about 12 months ago now. I don't recall using that, so... It's going to be interesting, so... Let me quickly get some logs here. I'm going to cut all the big ones down first of all. Make my life somewhat easy. The problem for me is going to be is getting all this alight. So at the moment, that's not alight. That's hitting the cab. Because you know, like when I see like FDR logging and that, or when you just see those like time lapses and that of people on farm sim, you know, just have like perfectly aligned logs and that. I can't do that, so bear with me a sec whilst I get some logs sorted. There we go. After a little short time lapse, there we've yeah you know, spent the last what half an hour after the time lapse just go and collecting some bits here and there. So yeah, we got rid of some of the old trees, and I can see we've cleared this area up actually quite substantially. Got the wood chips from the small old trees, which was only getting 300 leaves for the, the little dinky ones and for the taller but thin ones. We get about 750 litres, so that's left us with two decent sized piles to have fun with. And we've got three trees left, I think three or two. One, two, three. That one should be fine for the harvester, so let's go and grab that one. There's a couple of subs here and there left. I'll make sure to clear those up because I do not want to have issues when it comes to placing the vineyard, so. Let's go over here and grab this tree. But yeah, those two there are too thick for us, so... Anyways, we'll go and grab this one. Not an issue. There we go. Timber! So yeah, what we'll do with those two trees there is we'll come down, trim them, and yeah, we trade in the old winch for this one here. This has got an extra 2 ton pulling capacity, so for him to be able to pull 6.6 .6 tons, that can pull 8.5, 8.8 8 tons, so there we go. And yeah, I got the hand of it by like, putting these into a pile, and actually helped with me bringing the take hander over, not only just get the thumbnail for the episode, but also use the weight, lower the weight, and then yeah. With that, just pushed it all into alignment, so... Now, let's see how this works, so... There we go. 
And yeah, we're, okay, we're losing about like one meter at the end of the tree length, but in reality, that is nothing, so yeah, we'll get these cut down. Yeah, you say like big old spruces. And I think the trees that we planted, they're gonna be this size, so. So, yeah, with this, we should be able to pull both of these. I'm just gonna do a little bit of feathering. And I think what we'll do is we'll take these over first of all. Actually, before we start loading the logs up into the trailer. There we go. That's one. Now tool trees. And now let's go and hook them up, so there we go. Let's go good bang. Bang. But yeah, they're doing all this forestry, it's making me think about maybe making a return to Silver Run. Also there's another map that's come out recently of uh, Mason County. Like just having a look on that map is Absolutely huge, like lots of details you can make your own cars, even. And there's all sorts of other stuff that honestly I think we can do. You know, sort of series on that, and yeah. But I'm thinking, having a look at the map, even though the fields aren't really the most ideal for what I want to do, but maybe having a second series of survival challenge in a way. Maybe go the ways of like vintage survival. Similar to what Dagwin's doing with because his first series was on Osada. And now it's on Colonial with a K. By the same map maker and yeah, those maps absolutely beautiful for like a vintage farm series. But with me it's like when I started the series, when I did my return after what six months off a wellness, pretty much it was in the end. Yeah, just I thought that was something I watched and actually liked, so that's why I started this series. But I will admit, like reflecting on this series, it's not no longer really a survival aspect because we're absolutely booming, like. Look at the moment, we're making 3 million quid at the moment. But at least you can make millions in the course of a year. No problems whatsoever. And if you have any equipment you want, to um... But in fairness, that's the same with like Dagwin and Chainsaw. They're at that stage as well, where they're both over a million easy and, and having, you know, half a million pound sprayers and that big old combines if they want to. Getting a bit stuck here. But even when I compare it to them, they're on episode 48. Now I think this is episode 47, 48. It's been a while since I've actually recorded an episode, but. Oh, well, no, screw it, let's sell that. I'm going to sell that, put it in here. So yeah, 20,000 years that was, so. Yeah, not too bad. But yeah, I think when I do, like. Season 2 of Survival Challenge. I think I'll definitely restrict myself. I may have a look at a UK map, even possibly, to do some, a survival ch aspect challenge. Not something out to open like No Man's Land in that, because I know there is, a, I think it's. Oh, I can't remember the name on the map top of my head, but. There's a UK feed map, which is like No Man's Land, but UK based, but... Anywho, back onto here, so now... I don't think this has got tension straps. It's literally just grabbing that, so... This is gonna be fun, so... We'll go towards the heavier end. And move the claw... Down... Let's, let's do a test here, so that's up, that's down. Ah, so that goes back and forwards. 
So let's press up to go down. And it will go down to the ground, just takes a while. Okay, that's to rotate it, and that's to close it. You know, pick up from the ground. Alright, so yeah, I'm comfortable with it now, so raise up a little bit more. So go down. No, that's grabbing nothing. There we go. Now, nope, not that. No. Yeah, close it. And now, lift it up. Okay, it's not perfectly balanced all the way, but for the most part, it seems to be. Was a bit more team more whilst we're there, but now go to this and then just simply lose it on, I think. I think at first, if you use containers, it'd be a lot easier than this, but. I'll, I'll still try it. I give it a go. No, it's all falling apart. Nope. Perhaps I didn't close it far enough, but uh, it's not really going to plan. <laughs> no way. Not in the slightest. So, so now if we open that. Some logs in there. There was some success with that. There was for sure some success, but I think, you know what? With all due respect, I'm not the best person using that, those kinds of equipment. But at least I've tried it. I tried it once. Once is enough, but that's why I prefer the old, like, New York Fork or. Like the big backhander, or this one, like the big backhand winch support system, or the one you can get as part of the CSE pack. Those two are my favourite winch systems to go with. We should get rid of that help menu there a sec. But yeah, gave it a try, didn't work out, fair enough. It is what it is at the end of the day. But yeah, so that is in. Of course there is a damn slide to use in this, and let's demonstrate that with this pile over here, so again, you want to pick out sort of a medium spot, there we go, something like that, and then pick up a few trees at a time, you can go over top, and if you do that, expect your rods to go flying. Because I've been actually for once actually been sensible, it's actually relatively leveled and it's not flicking around, it's not trying to kill me in that. Which for once actually not having my equipment to try to kill me for once. It is a good thing to have, funny enough. So yeah, let's go and push that. Now since you know, I've got these here. I'm gonna like, push push the boat out a little bit. <coughs> Apologies there for a little cough. There we go. I think that's the amount we can get. And yeah, it is so much easier. Is it realistic? Of course it ain't. I think realistically, if you was gonna do this in a realistic way, the best thing for me would be to cut these down and then just winch them along. But I am not doing that, so there we go. There we go, come on. Don't get stuck. There we go, and that's actually looking good there. So yeah, let's get the rest of these on, load it up, and then take it over to a sawmill.
so let's have a look here. We've got a full trailer, and actually, that was pretty much the perfect amount of logs. Maybe could have got a few more on, didn't help, obviously, being a bit misaligned. Because you can fit 20 meters in total now, because I know with the Mactra traders, I think this was the Mactra one, this is. Is that it does have the option if you're on PC to have the universal auto load option. And yeah, it's 20 meters and you can sort of about see it if you look, look at it. If you do it properly, that's about 60 meters in length, I'd say almost. It's just where like you've got like some trees that goes here, some that goes here. It feels more perfectly aligned and forward a bit because we've got a huge space here between the head of the cab and the actual trailer, so... But anyway, it's on diverging, so... 19,600 litres. Now we're at 70,000 litres, so... That was over 50,000 litres, and I actually missed one log, so... There we go. And we have a look at the production now. How far is that? Yeah, that's pretty much almost all of that, and in fairness, if we had one more load, we could fill up the other sawmill and this one, so, and actually, how is our furniture stuff doing, so, have a look there, there we go, and the furniture are fine for wood for now, but we could do with another wood, another bit of wood and that, so, I'm going to quickly do a jump cut here, so what I'm going to do is pretty much cut some more trees down. Yeah, get another trailer load. And then that's where I think we'll leave it today. We're making a huge start in no clear in the air for the vineyard. And for the best part, it is clear because I think the plan for the vineyard is only to go like two plots long. Have a huge vineyard. And I do mean huge. And yeah, what do we buy these areas over here? One, because we can got the money for it. Fair enough, with that attitude, we can buy the entire map and still have money left over, but... It's more so... Space and that for like, room for productions and that, because... But the actual layout of what I'm going to be doing... I'm not too sure on yet. Yeah, and I mean, I'm generally not sure, like... Where to put the production stuff... And what production stuff? Because if we go down here, go to our production tab, obviously if you go base gaming now, which I'm not, have your great process and building. You know, simple, decent. But there is several options. Like for one, we've got the farm production no, the farm factory here. That has a higher output rate, which I may still use and that. I'm not gonna place another one down though. There's things like different buildings here, like basically the same as a base game but different. And is there an option for No, I don't think there's an there's oh snapping option and free mode. Always forget about that, there's a snapping option. Fuel products, no, actually, let's get back into what I was doing, looking at the grape stuff, so... Not so many mods here, but... There's, like, other ones, there's, like, the grape pack I've installed. And actually, with the packing facility... Uh, I'm having a look here. That's thing, I've never truly utilised this. Generally, no, I haven't, so... Maybe... But now nah, I doubt we will, not with this series. Maybe on another series, who knows? But yeah, I'll go down here to our grape stuff. Yeah, there we go, the grape production pack. So, again, similar to your base game stuff. But we get extra, don't know what that is exactly. And obviously, yeah, like this grape production pack, it's absolutely huge. Like, we've even got a spinnery. Like we get all sorts of stuff, tear stuff. If you want to, we can go down the whole rabbit hole of this. Personally, I don't think I will. 
I think I'll go with a mixture of stuff. Got a bottling pan, or oh, bottling pan, bottling plant. Christ. But yeah, actually, what are some of these extra produce we can have? So we can have grape, grape, grape. Bloody envoy. We can have grape seed, grape seed oil, grape must, grape leverette, shoes. Recycled polyester and polymers, belts, unpackaged grape juice, premium grape juice, sparkling grape juice. So yeah, that's a whole plethora of stuff. And actually, what are the prices? Having a quick look here, obviously, I don't know what the cycles are or anything, but... Five grand, four grand... Six grand for belts. Fifteen grand for shoes. Bloody hell. Who's paying fifteen grand for shoes? Bloody hell. That's better than the clothes. God, actually. Whilst I'm here, shoes. I want to get this facility down and have a look at it for a sec. So, just quickly spending a hundred grand, maybe losing fifty grand. I want to have a look at this. So, having a look, so... Ah, so... Obviously we can make our clothes and that. Yeah, good, good, whatever. But with the leverettes, great leverette, we can make shoes and belts. So, let me get that down as well. There we go, 60 grand there. So, to get grape leveret, we need grape must and recycled polymers. Okay, so, actually, is there a difference? So, the leveret to shoes is a two to one. But then, to belt, it's 1 to 5, so, actually, doing belt may be more worth it. In a way, yeah, 2 to 1, alright, 5, 1 to 5. Actually, in fairness, belts may be more worth it. But now, we need to figure out, how do we get... Uh, what I'm looking at. There we go. Grape must and recycled polyesters and polymers. Okay, so after a quick look, you get the recycled polyesters and polymers as a palette. Fair enough. But then you will need either the grape processing medium or large to get the grape must. So obviously. Grapes raisins, the one to one, fair enough. And grapes of grape juice is one to one. Obviously, we can have it unpacked, get more per month, as in the number of cycles in that. And you get more must, and you get more grape seeds. But, so yeah, I think what I do, you get the grapes, you put them in here. You say to your grape juice, then you distribute it to here, the grape must in that. And obviously you can put the cotton in that in here, that, again, another extra spinnery facility. But more importantly we're looking at the grape leverets. And then from that we can get shoes and belts, so fair enough. And yeah, we are losing half our money on that, so... Yeah, that cost us 180 grand, that did. Have a little quick look. <coughs> and actually, rather than filling up the uh, rest of the productions, we'll do that another time. I need to make that money back now, so... Bear with me a sec, whilst I do a jump cut and get a full trailer of timber. To recuperate all that, what, what was like 30 seconds a minute? of stuff that costs us 180 grand and boom there we go we are done that took us a bit longer than planned or well I decided to see longer than planned so 
we've got a full trailer of lumber. More than that's time, that's because actually we did everything relatively neat. We put everything in a line, we pushed it with the winch and the weights and that. And if we head over here, these are all the big trees that we could cut down with the harvester. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 14, 15 logs, so that is 140, 150,000 years of timber just sitting there, so, but yeah, we'll use those actually instead for, uh, was it for the productions and that, if it needs it, in fairness with most of our production stuff, it doesn't really consume it that fast, but, whilst we're having a bit of lag there, don't fall over please. Don't. Good. So yeah, what's else going to be fun taking to the shop? We have cut down a significant bit, I'll say. We have opened the map in that. We cut up to here, so... I'll say that's a good third of it we've done at least. At least a third. Cut a few more small trees down. And how much did we get from those? So... Just tabbing our way through. I think that's more TMR. Uh, where is it to? Huh? Oh, there it is. I was going too fast. So, yeah. From 50,000 years to 114,000 years. So, that's not too bad. Also, got our mower set up here ready. So, we've got two ready to go on the go. She was getting going right now. Why not? There we go. So yeah, back to the trader. There we go. So yeah, moment we'll do that in like the next episode or so, something like that. Not the focus on now, so but yeah, I thought heck it, let's sell the timber and that rather than put into productions. I know I said we was going to put something in there, but we certainly sell assets. To recuperate our value, was it 180 grand or so we've wasted on just showcasing and looking at a production chains? Well, looking at production chains, should I say. But yeah, I'll say we get a fair decent bit out of this. If we don't tip over. Yeah, didn't have it all perfectly aligned, so it is a bit topsided. A bit top heavy, especially if I've overloaded it. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, you son of a gun. Uh, do we have a wheel loader? I remember leasing one, but I'm not sure if we actually got one. Trucks, uh, da da da. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's get this recovered. There we go, 15 grand later. 16 grand. Let's go and get this recovered. Let's go. Up you go. I said. Up you go. And even a Volvo is struggling with this. I think it's as heavy as we can get. There we go. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. We have to just get it underneath it. Don't fall over again. Good. Stay. Good. Oh, that was a little diversion there. So, yeah. We're going to sell this. I think we'll sell it at the sell everything container. We'll get a bit of a better price. And I don't know why I'm going this way, where it's going up a slope. Where are we going to bin it again? Almost right on cue. Ah, uh, better be sick, so... Okay, why well, you've stopped. I don't know why I don't care. Actually, I should know why, because you've turned around. Fair enough. But yeah, better be sick whilst I get to the shop. Oh, God. So that's going to be one new stage today. There we go. No more mishaps. No more falling over. And uh, we just about got to here in one piece. 
before we run the last minute, please, because you get stuck there, that's going to be an absolute bitch gal with... No, don't fall over. Stay. Just stay level, for freak's sake. What are you, does the entire pizza? Ah, see, it's scratch itself. All you have to do is just insult it. Yeah, let's see how much money we get. 52 grand. Plus, so that is 67,700 quid, so, yeah, not too bad, especially remember on normal difficulty, which from FS19 standards is hard difficulty. So yeah, I think overall I wasn't too bad. I think, yeah, if we go back over here, I think we've pretty much got all things all figured out. All we need to do next time is cut these in half and get them loaded up onto the trader. And then taken over to the representative production chains. But apart from that, we're looking good. So next time, sort that out. Yeah, just fed the cows to more, so that's good. How's the mowing? Mowing's doing good. And with it, we'll be fully fertilized. And with a yield bonus of how much? 98%, I can live with that. Yeah, I think overall we're looking too, not too bad, so... All we need to think about next is what to plant. Obviously, we're going to be doing cereal. So, corn. That's going to be needed. I think when it comes to planting stuff, that's going to be two episodes time from this episode. I think next one... I think, really, it's just a lot of field prep work. I think, you know, can these... Can our cedars direct drill? I forget. Uh, they can't direct drill, so they need to be ploughed or whatever well, cultivated. So maybe when we cultivate the fields, we go with something like stupidly big. So that is 12.2 meters. We've got two of those 10.1, 12.5, 10. .1, 12 .5, 10 not stupid power harrows, not spaders, not soft soils. What about just normal cultivators? Ah, that is something I can get behind. A case Tiger Mate 255. And the good thing is, it perfectly matches our case tractor. So, you know, having red on red. And we can have up to five of them, technically, even though we can have six, we've had new numbers, but... So yeah, I think that's what we'll do next is cultivation, grass work, and that's a little bit of logging, so... Yeah, it's not going to be too bad of an episode. Also, we've got Yosis pancakes on that to sell, so... That's another thing to look forward to, too. so yeah. I think that's what we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for as you do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, it's be farmer ever extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.